hello hello welcome to a new video my name is smriti and today i am sick but today i am also going to be wrapping up some of the books that i read in august but also june and july because i didn't do a wrap up for those months uh, mostly because uh, the books that i read at that point of time were part of videos that i had already done where i had spoken about those books so um in this video i will be uh, first talking about the books that i did not speak to you about in those videos and then moving on to the books that i have read for videos where i have spoken about about them in a uh, great detail uh, so i will link you to those videos so please watch them because um one i don't have the energy uh, and two uh, just watch them they're great i spent a lot of time on them so um it'll be cool if you watch them for that but uh anyway moving on i'm going to go with uh the first book that i read from like august i'm going to go off in like descending order from like the last that i read them to no the first that i read them to the last that i read them you know what i mean my brain is like scrambling scrambled so i read um this book called cold enough for snow by jessica ao and this is a book it's quite short um and it was spoken about by jen campbell um and a bunch of other people like uh, cj reads etc um and they really liked it so i decided to pick it up as well um it's basically a book about um this mother and daughter who decide to go on this vacation um and it's just them through this vacation but um this book is basically just vibes and no real like plot per se so i think you need to keep that in mind uh because it doesn't really go anywhere um through this holiday we get to understand their like relationship better uh, but we also go back in time and like get to understand various other people in the family like the sister and like other people and like where they came from and all of that sort of stuff so this book is as i've said uh very much about the vibes and i think that what jessica ao has done amazingly is um like being so uh descriptive in her writing like absolutely brilliant writing in terms of like describing the place um and describing the feelings and describing everything it felt very like atmospheric and like i feel like i want to reread this book just to uh be in awe of like how descriptive it was and how like in the moment and in that part of the book i felt while i was reading it if that makes any sense to you but apart from that there really um wasn't much else so if you're going in for a strict plot this isn't going to be for you but i thought that it was really well done otherwise and i gave it a 4 star um for that so excellent Next is a book that I read called Sword Heart by T King Fisher. Now T King Fisher is having like their time on booktube right now. Um a lot of their books are being read and uh this book was recommended to me by Riley Reads. No, Riley Marie Reads. Uh yeah, I follow her. She's quite cool. Um and this is basically uh like you could call it a cozy fantasy romance thingy is basically about this girl who um is um, inherits like her uncle's like house and like all his possessions basically he dies and leaves everything to her and his family is not very happy with that so they're like okay so now you have to marry like the nephew the guy like this other slimy weird person and she's like i don't want to do this this is like they're going to make my life hell um and they've locked her in like this room so she's like you know there's there's no way to like go about this so she decides to uh kill herself because then she's like at least my money will then go to like my nieces like the 
children she likes um so she decides to do that and the only way she could do that is through the sword which is there in the room um and as soon as she unsheaths the sword there's this genie sword genie that pops out um and then uh they escape together and it's about their adventure together and like all the sort of things that they go through and it's really cute there's like this grumpy sunshine romance of sorts there's this like i don't know it's just like fantasy with very low stakes which i really enjoyed <laughs> um and yeah overall i thought that it was super fun um a very like time pass sort of read like if you're in the mood for just like a good fun time and not like taxing your brain too much i would definitely recommend this one i thought that it was super fun the uh, world building was fun and the characters were interesting as well so um i really liked it i gave it a four star i thought that it was just good fun time okay and then i read a really short book called the evil mother by margaret atwood margaret atwood everyone knows her she is awesome um and she came up with this short story uh which is basically 33 pages and i was like sure why not it was free on like kindle so i decided to read it and it's basically about this mother like this woman or uh, who has a daughter and she says that she comes from like witches and like she's going to like put spells on people and it's basically about the daughter reflecting on her relationship with her mum and how like annoying that was the mum would just use like her witchy uh thing to warn her of certain things and then uh yeah it's, I don't know. I don't know how to explain this book to you. It's like really short and like sweet. Um I liked it, but I also expected more from Margaret Atwood. I guess like I don't know. I was just like you could do more. You're Margaret Atwood. Um so I gave this one a 3 star, I think. Um because I was like mm, okay, cool, but also like mm, okay, whatever. Ah The next book that I read was uh, a book that I think a lot of people have really loved. So this is purely on me, um, and that is the light next. No, what is it called? The light next door? No, the light from uncommon stars. Yes. Um, and this book I think was just not meant for me. It is fantasy. It's basically following this girl who is a trans girl who is a violinist, and uh, she has left her like. home and is um adventuring about and she is discovered by this um very very famous coach who the last six like whatever prodigies of hers or whatever or like people who she's coached is have become like world famous violinists and stuff but they've also died a gruesome death because essentially uh, she works for the devil um and she has to uh, give the devil seven souls so um she takes katrina who's a trans girl under her wing because she's really really good but um katrina has like she just wants to like play the violin and play like games uh songs and stuff like that whatever it was whatever so there's that and then we're following this other story of this little aliens who are disguised as humans and run a donut shop um and then it's like about them and their family and how their family also uh comes in close quarters with um this devil lady i'm forgetting her name now and katrina who's a trans girl and like all of that so it's all about like found family and like um i don't know going against the odds and all of that sort of stuff and it's a lot about like classical music and violin and like all of that sort of stuff and i just feel like it wasn't for me like i was just like what's going on it's not hard to read under any circumstance but i just didn't gel with the plot or with the characters um i liked it overall like there are parts of the book that like i will still remember right now um but i just think that this book was not for me writing wise plot wise um and i i didn't quite like it so i gave it a two star but i know a lot of people who have absolutely loved it um and uh, gave it a five star so i will link you to some of those uh, reviews if you want to understand like a different perspective uh but i was like it ain't for me so it's okay that's that's fine you no one has to 
love all books i don't know what i'm saying all right okay then another book that i read was uh, the royals next door uh, by katrina hill and this is interesting cuz it's a uh, royal season right now <laughs> or not royal season cuz cuz the queen dead uh, but anyway point is that i read this book it's basically like a fan fictiony sort of thingy about like if the uh, like if harry and meghan moved right next to you what would that situation be like um and we're basically following this school teacher uh, who lives in the property that Harry and Meghan essentially move into um they don't call them Harry and Meghan um it's like someone some some other people and there's like a king which is like realistic to now but anyway um and it's a romance between the teacher and the bodyguard um and i thought that it was quite cute actually i quite liked the book i quite liked their tension and their romance it was really cute the bodyguard also bakes like he's a he's like a chef sort of guy as well so he's also a sweetie um and i liked some of the smut that uh, was in it it was uh, nice so overall i gave this one a 3.5 stars though i do think that like length was it was a little long if it was a little shorter i may have liked it a little more i think it was about like 400 ish pages but i still really liked my time reading it it was fun um i would recommend if you are looking for a good like time pass sort of read again i'm just talking about all the sort of time pass reads that i've read haven't i another um, one that i read was also a time pass read and that is the queer principles of kit web uh, which is another romance um and it is a uh, gay romance like a male male romance um in like way back in the day where essentially we are following this guy who sort of like the son of a duke or something like that um and he wants to rob his father cuz his father's an asshole um and like uh he thinks that like there's a new baby that's come and like i don't know this there's, there, there's some reason behind it i'm forgetting now but like he wants to rob his father and he decides to like go to this highway man um to ask for help but the highway man's like i can't do it anymore because i have been injured but i can help you uh rob him like i can teach you how to do it so um it's about their uh blossoming romance between this highway man and the son of a duke um and just a bunch of other stuff and it was really cute um i really liked the son of the duke character i think i don't remember his name now but percy i think percy yeah he was really really sweet i really liked him as a character um and just i also listened to it on audio um and that was super fun as well i i really enjoyed the audio book i thought that was really awesome and i listened to it on scribd um so i would link you to like a link where you can get a scribd membership if you want like two months free uh, if you want it's fine yes i read um, writers and lovers uh which i liked but i feel like i wanted to like it way more because everyone had really hyped this for me in my head um and i was just like really looking forward to reading it i th- i thought that the writing wise it was really good <laughs> writers and lovers writing wise was really good um but overall i was a little like yeah let down by the romance aspect of it i guess like when people pitched it like they really pitched like this romance plus writing plus grief sort of thing so i was like looking forward to the romance aspect of it but like it wasn't that um i thought that it was cool basically i haven't told you what it's about it's about this girl who um wants to be a writer i think uh yes she wants to be a writer and she also waits tables um so through that journey we get to know more about her about her grief over her mum i think um about losing her mum and like a bunch of other things and through this we also see her um in two different sorts of relationships um who are, which are very very different and then we get to see what she ultimately chooses i think or like i i don't remember much of this so like was this really a four star i don't know uh but i gave this a four star um i read this way back in june like the beginning of june um and yeah i don't know i i liked it but i did love it and now that i don't remember it i feel kind of like sad that like maybe i didn't like it as much as i thought i would like it but anyway this that uh <laughs> i'm sorry that i'm so like 
down in the dumps and like i'm feeling like i don't know i don't feel very excited about talking right now i don't feel seem very excited i think i think i think you would think that i would not i don't know what i'm saying okay uh next uh we are moving on to the books that i have already spoken about in video so i did a uh stand alone review for translating myself and others by chupa lehri uh this is a non fiction book by her and i liked it but i thought that it was very high brow and very uh big brain energy um it's basically her journey of translating herself and others and what she thinks of it and it's a collection of essays that she's written over the years about the very same topic um and it was good but also just like she talks about like ovid's metamorphosis a lot and like it was just i was just like oh my god my little brain cannot understand a lot of these things that you are saying so uh yeah the <laughs> that uh next we move on to a really really fun video that i did that i really really enjoyed uh doing which was reading um five books from around the world and this was for women in translation month so i read uh boat number 5 which was my five star read i thought that this was stunning um it was from slovakia and it was about um this young girl who basically as a child kidnaps like a pair of twins um and then uh or like takes a pair of twins and then it's like her journey and what happens with that and we are reflecting on it uh from like present day when she's much older and like she talks about her relationship with her mother uh which was very very fraught and just really fucked up and like just her life as a 10 year old or a 12 year old and like it was like i was like what's going on but like i was compulsively reading it it was like a uh, it was like a like a a car crash waiting to happen and you just couldn't take your like eyes away from the page and you were just like whoa so if you really like like fucked up relationships i would highly suggest this one um and i would highly suggest you watch that video because it was really cool um another book that i read was lullaby by leila slamani which was um a book about this nanny who kills like the two kids and it's we find out why that happened and how she uh got to the situation and um yeah it was really interesting i again listened to this as an audiobook as well as read it and um i thought that it was really good it's not a thriller per se it's more of a character study so again go into it thinking uh that uh then i read the q um which was by by egypt <laughs> i was going to say no by basma abdul aziz who is from egypt and translated from arabic which again um i really enjoyed and i gave it a four star as well it talks about like it's this dystopian um world uh where something has happened i just go watch that video is really good um uh, yeah and then i read cock fight which is a book about like a collection of short stories from ecuador um uh, with some really intense topics which needs a lot of trigger warnings so i liked it but i also like was like oh i don't know how i feel about this so with all the trigger warnings and stuff like that so that was that and then there was lucky breaks which was from ukraine uh which i didn't like as much because i was like Meh. um there were some short stories that worked some that didn't um but basically we were following a bunch of women in ukraine and their stories and uh yeah unfortunately didn't like it as much um oh then i did a really fun video which i think is like one of my favorite videos that i've done no actually like yeah these two videos which were women in translation as well as booktube favorites was one of my favorites uh one of my favorites um <laughs> the books that i read for booktube favorites was elena knows which i gave five stars to it was an awesome goddamn book i spoke about it in great detail essentially we are following this old woman um who has parkinson's whose daughter has died and it is basically following one day in her life while she goes to try to find 
someone who can help her in her with her cause um but this book was just goddamn amazing like the writing was stunning i have never read a book where the main character has parkinsons and just to understand more from that person's perspective as to like what exactly it may look like and what exactly they go through and all of that um and not just that it just covered a wide variety of topics um as well which i really really appreciated and i really liked and this book was just wow for me um and i would highly recommend that one um the other book that i read was um notes on an execution by dania kun kunkafka kurkafka um which i again really liked um it's basically following this serial killer named ansel and he uh and his life um we are following him 12 hours before he is scheduled to be executed but we also follow the perspectives of three women of his life his mother um the woman who like finally arrested him as well as the sister of one of the people who he killed um and this book was just stunning i really liked the way that it made me feel and the way it made me question stuff um if you are looking for a book that um has beautiful writing beautiful writing um as well as like a topic that will really make you think then um i would highly suggest this one for sure um and then the last book that i read for that video was the great circle by maggie shipstead which was long listed for the booker prize as well as the uh women's prize it was also short listed for the women's prize last year um and i think that like my expectations were so high for this book that like it sort of fell short um i think that like it was really wonderful in terms of like the characters and the epic earnest uh, of it because we're essentially following this woman who um was this pilot back in the day in the 50s um and she attempts to basically fly a plane from pole to pole um and then she disappears uh and we never know what happened to her and we're following her story of how this came to be as well as um the woman in current day who is going to be playing her in a movie and like this woman also has like her own things that she's dealing with um so i really enjoyed this one honestly um in terms of like the stories that it had to say but i feel like my expectations were so high with this one so at that point of time i was just like eh but overall i think that like it was an epic story um and uh, i liked it overall i gave it a 3.5 star if i'm not mistaken which i think i still think is is correct for me but uh yeah that's that's that uh and then i did an last one this is the last one all right so the last one that i did was um women who kill uh so essentially i read nine books technically but like technically five books because one of like five of them was like one series which was a bunch of novellas uh <laughs> and i had a really bad time doing this because i think there was only one book out of these five books technically that i read uh that i really liked and that was uh what is it my my sister the serial killer um and i gave that one a 4.5 star essentially we are talking about this girl um this girl woman um whose sister ends up like killing all of her boyfriends and then she is a nurse and she has to like uh help her sister during this time um and uh, now the sister has her eye set on this doctor who um she has always been in love with so she's like shit what do i do um and it's not so thrilling again i think i just really like books that are like character studies um so if you are looking for a book that is very like oh my god there is going to be killing this is not that um but um it was a really good character study and i thought that it was very well written however if you want to read a book that is primarily about like just killing people and wasn't very well written initially um i would suggest the what is it called the mind fuck series i think overall like give it a 3 2.5 to 3 stars but essentially there are five books this is all available on kindle unlimited um where we are following this girl who is a serial killer um and she has her mind set to kill certain people and avenge a certain thing that happened to her and her family um and she wants to like 
yeah eradicate these people who did that to her uh, but she also has a romance with a fbi um profiler like a guy who i don't know if you watch like criminal minds essentially the inspiration for this was um reed from criminal minds spencer reed from criminal minds but he was not that so if you are a criminal minds fan do not think of spencer reed do not just do not <coughs> Anyway, um I thought that this book was uh okay, the first two books in the series were absolutely atrocious. Just Jesus Christ, really bad. Um and then it sort of improves. So, um yeah, but <laughs> if you want to see a lot of people being killed on page, then this is for you. And like just keep in mind writing is not great, but like and a lot of it is like very unbelievable, but it's okay if you go in with the perspective of like i just want to see dudes being killed by women so yeah there's <laughs> there's that another book that i read i'm just going to go really fast the old woman and her knife is basically about this old serial killer lady who um uh is reflecting on her life and how she became a serial killer i mean a uh, assassin essentially um and then something's happening with her she thinks um and something someone's trying to get to her so she's like whatever so it's basically about that um this was translated from japanese i did not like it as much i thought that it could have been way cooler but it was not um how to kill your family by bella maki this was a book that is really hyped right now um but i thought that it was okay i really did not like the main character i thought that she was very pretentious um and just really like annoying which is funny because she was saying that like the people that she wanted to kill which is like her family were also very pretentious and she hated them because they were pretentious and i was just like look in the mirror honey um but yeah anyway uh it was all right i thought that this book was fun but i wouldn't suggest it as much um i gave it a 3 star overall <sighs> how many other books do i have to talk about wait uh oh just one yay okay so there's one which is blood sugar which was like ugh, so bad um and that is basically we are following this woman who has killed three people um and she is in interrogation right now because the people and the police think that she has killed her husband and she's like nope i haven't killed my husband but i have killed these other people in her head she is of course saying this um and she talks about how she went about this in her brain um she's like recounting this but also um how she's trying to get out of this a uh, situation right now with her uh being uh charged with the uh murder of her husband who was a diabetic and uh yeah that's basically why it's called blood sugar i thought that this was okay um i thought that it was very predictable um and i really didn't like being in the character's head i think that it is important to like the character um if you are liking I mean reading the book at least like you're rooting for the character even if the character is an asshole at least you're rooting for them um but like this one was like just I I didn't I didn't like it at all um I give it a 2 star so overall <laughs> those are all the books that I read in August June and July um I hope that you uh, took from it what you may um at let me know what was your favorite book of this period of time um and uh check out the other videos where i have spoken about these books and read these books because i spent some time on it as i have said and i would really appreciate it it if you watched it if you haven't already but uh those be my thoughts overall um i am going to go now and just uh die uh, and i will see you in my next video like uh, comment and subscribe all right bye bye